A VPN is far from a one-trick pony. It's got tons of ways to make your online experience easier and safer and gain more access. So that's why I wanted to talk about the best ways to use a VPN to ensure that you're getting the most out of your subscriptions and even to show you how to use VPN too. Let's get into it. The VPN market is no joke. It's competitive, it's filled with advertisements and even false claims. That's why understanding that a good VPN is gonna give you a lot more usability than just an average one is important. So three of my recommendations, which come at excellent price points and have great reliability are NordVPN, Surfshark, and ProtonVPN. But of course, whichever you go with, you're first gonna need a subscription. Just remember pricing can go even lower with my discounts, so make sure to check the links below first. All right, after you get a subscription, the next step is to download and install the VPN. All three of these options have applications for most devices and browser extensions. Downloading and installing them is just as easy as any other app. After that's done, you're gonna to need to launch the application and log in. To connect to a server, simply click it and wait a few seconds and your connection is now private. Like we see here with NordVPN. All right, now that you're all set up, what will this VPN connection do? First and foremost, whether you're using private Wi-Fi or public, your connection is being encrypted by the VPN. If a cyber criminal tries snooping on your web traffic, they're not gonna be able to. Your activity is entirely obscure, even from your ISP. In addition, NordVPN, Surfshark, and ProtonVPN can block harmful web pages, trackers, and even protect against malware getting onto your device in the first place. So not only is your connection private, but your browsing is much safer. However, it isn't all about safety. You see, a lot of people use VPN for discounts. This is because some websites use geographical pricing or adjusted prices based on browsing history. Websites know your location because of your IP, and cookies and mobile tracking, geolocation, or even your Wi-Fi. And a VPN is a sure way to fix this and get a better price. I managed to get discounted flights using this method before. It's simple, just clear your cookies, connect to a server and open incognito mode or your browser. I'd suggest a server in the home country of the service you're using first. This is because they sometimes offer lower rates there. If it doesn't work, you can try switching between different regions and comparing prices until you're happy. All that's left is to enjoy the savings. Okay, one of my favorite ways to use VPN is for accessing content that otherwise wouldn't be available to me. So these roadblocks happen for a number of reasons. Geo-blocked content, network restrictions, or harsh censorship. Either way, a VPN is gonna open up a world of content. All you gotta do is connect to a server that has what you wanna access or is outside of your country and refresh your browser or application. I tend to use a VPN while I'm traveling to catch up on content that's only available back home. In addition, I also appreciate the added level of security that a VPN gives while accessing sensitive services while traveling. Now, because NordVPN, Surfshark, and ProtonVPN have such large choices of locations, so much content is accessible. These three are excellent best VPN for sports streaming options with little troubleshooting and reliable connections. You're also less likely to use overcrowded servers because each VPN has such a wide selection to choose from. But remember, don't overpay and scan the QR code now to get the best price on my favorite VPN. Private and safe torrenting is another reason to use a VPN. Depending on your location, torrenting may be restricted and your data could be directly extracted while doing so. We don't want that to happen and that's how a VPN helps by encrypting the data. If you want safer torrenting, it's important to look for a VPN with torrenting specific features. Each of my recommendations are best VPN for torrenting options with P2P servers that give enhanced security without compromising download speeds. Also, Surfshark, NordVPN, and ProtonVPN each come with built-in kill switches, which prevent IP leaks by cutting off internet access if your connection to the VPN drops. And ProtonVPN even has port forwarding, which is useful for fast torrenting. Now, generally this feature is less safe, but their version routes the connection through their own firewall for added security. Okay, so you might be wondering what are the best benefits for using a VPN for gaming? Now, this is a tricky question because not all VPNs are equipped for gaming. So how to use VPN to enhance it? A VPN may help gamers server hop to regain access to restricted or unreachable servers or gain priority on a specific region when matchmaking. 
Also, in other cases, a VPN can help with ping issues and have minimal latency impact, especially because ISPs are known to throttle gamer speeds. But if you're connected to a VPN server, they're not gonna know you're gaming and can't target your connection. Because all of my top VPNs have such fast speeds, each are reliable gaming VPNs, no doubt. Now, my sixth reason for why use a VPN is to create your own private gateway to personal and home devices using dedicated IPs. Not all VPNs offer this feature, but NordVPN and Surfshark do as add-ons. It keeps access consistent, encrypted, and invisible to everyone else on the internet. Besides, the IP is private to you and helps you avoid captures and IP blocks. So whatever your reason, just remember to grab a VPN at the lowest price possible using my links. Now, the misconception that a VPN is exclusively for privacy enthusiasts really needs to end. As we can see, it is a multi-tool that makes browsing safer, but also helps users save money, access more content, and use public Wi-Fi safely from anywhere. Whether you're using NordVPN, Surfshark, or ProtonVPN, you can guarantee a better experience online overall. Just try it for yourself. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.